Hello, Bow Leggers, and welcome back. <clears throat> today I'm in the kitchen. I'm not doing any cooking um, today. Today I'm showing you what I'm going to do with um, uh, a leftover uh, pot roast I had cooked the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a pork pot roast. And um, we've ate off of it several times. It was a large pot roast. And um, when you have meat left over, you don't want to throw it away. Not as expensive as meat is today. But I'm going to show you what I typically do with um, leftover uh, pot roast. And um, this here is a, a pork roast. Um, and you can do it also with a beef roast. But um, by this being a pork roast, I'm going to take it and shred it. And I'm going to make some um, pulled pork out of it with barbecue sauce. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. All right. This is my bowl. And as you can see, this is my um, pulled pork. I mean, I'm sorry, this is my pork roast that I've heated up, taken out of the fridge, and I've heated it up. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in this bowl. I got two forks. Some of that is fat. We don't want that fat. We just want the meat. But, um, Make sure you don't have any fat. If you have any fat on it, you want to go around and pull that fat off because that fat isn't going to work in your um, pulled pork. So get rid of the fat. Let me bring you guys back. Now, now you can see a little better. But get rid of all the fat that's on that um, on your pork roast. And this one had quite a... Remember when I cooked it, if you saw the video, it had a large fat cap on it. And um, this is now what I'm removing, getting rid of all that. Because we're going to make pulled pork. And pulled pork is strictly just uh, pork meat. It's no fat. All right. Now I've gotten rid of all my fat. Now what we want to do is take our fork two forks and just go to breaking and pulling the meat apart. You just want to shred it. Just like such. And just keep going to all over to shred it. Just keep pulling, keep pulling. I tell you guys what, I'm going to go ahead and work on this and get my meat pulled apart. And once I get it pulled apart, I'll bring you guys back and show you the next step. So I'll see you in a few. All right, guys, I got all my roast, um, uh, pork roast shredded up. And now I'm about to add my um, sauce. It was very little of it. It wasn't a lot left, just a little. But um, any amount you have left, you could take it and, and do the same. Make a, um, 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 a pulled pork sandwich out of it. So we're going to add <clears throat> about about three tablespoons, well, three to four tablespoons of uh, barbecue sauce. And you want to mix it well. Now, some people even add like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of mustard to it. Me, myself, I think the barbecue sauce just flavors it well enough for me as far as the pulled pork goes. Now, we can scoop it out into a bowl and you can um, make your sandwich, but this is your pulled pork from leftover roast, from a leftover pork roast. And here you go. That's what it looks like. So anytime you have any leftover uh, pot roast, pork roast or beef roast, don't throw it out. Definitely don't throw it out. Not with the price of meats today. You can either um, um, do what I did with the pork roast, chip it up and make pulled pork, or with a beef roast, you can chip it up and make chip beef out of it. So 
It's always something to do with leftover meat. Never throw it, never throw it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this little tip on this here pork roast. Give it a try. See you guys later. Bye-bye.